All right. So yesterday we started looking at time series. And now, so when we saw it, we had these time series. So EV ended up being time. And we saw these time series and they might had, you know, patterns. And what we saw is sometimes we see we have a bit of seasonality or we had a trend and like a general upward trend. But we also saw this random fluctuation. So what we go about, we can use what we call some smoothing techniques. And what they're going to do is we um, do some depends on which technique you can be asked to do, but you can do different techniques. And what we see is that it smooths out the data so that you might get a more, you know, a smoother line or a better trend can be created. So the very first, the first smoothing technique we're going to do today is mean smoothing. Now you have to be, the smoothing techniques have very similar names. So you need to be um, very, sure of which one you're doing so when we're talking about means definitely highlight it in the question what you're doing so remember the means are like your average so that's you know how we work it out we work out an average by adding everything up and dividing so let's have a look so you can get asked to smooth your data you can either get um first one we're going to look at is when we have odd number mean smoothing which means either three five seven nine and so on so what you do if you have three mean smoothing it's what you get you get your three data values now we're always because it's a time series we're not looking at the time we're looking at the rv so whatever we're looking at their values we get the three first three values of the time you know and then we add them up and we divide by three and that becomes our first smoothed value. And so then you keep on doing that. Then you get the next three, you keep moving across. So we're going to see that. If you have five, you get the five and you add them up and then so on. So it makes a little bit more sense once you do some examples. So here we've got an example of some data and it's a time series. So just to make sure if you were drawing this in a scatter plot, we would give this a code of day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, yeah? So that would be its time code. Just to help you out sometimes, like because it does look like categorical data, but we change it to a time code. All right, so we've been given the days of the week and the temperature. Now, we could, if we went to smooth this whole data, we would start, with the first three, add them up and all that. So generally that's what you do if you're smoothing the whole set, but obviously that takes a long time. So they generally ask you in the exams or in the, um, in the SACs just to do, you know, one of them to show that you know. So the first question here, it says calculate the three, me three moving mean smooth temperature for Tuesday. So what you're doing, because you've got three, you go to the day that they're talking about. So it's Tuesday. So you want to get the three values, including Tuesday, around it. So if you've got three, you would pick, so one below it and one above it. So if I was doing that, I'd go 18.1, oops, sorry, 18.1 plus 24.8 plus 26.4 and I divide it by three and then I get 23.1. So this is the smooth value for Tuesday. Okay, so what happens if you had, um, so say underneath I had another col uh, row here and I called it the three mean smoothing. The very first one that you could get, it has to be Tuesday because you can't get, if you went to do Monday, there's no before data to collect it. So that would be your first one. And if you went through all of it, you end up the last smooth value you could get would be on Saturday. So it might be a point to write that in our notes. So when we have 
um, three mean smoothing. I'm just using the symbol for mean. We lose the first and the last data point. Yeah, so because you can't get, you know, once you get to Saturday, if I went to do Sunday, there's no other data after it. So I can't get a smooth value. So that's what you, you'll lose one. And it's good to know that because sometimes they ask that as a question. So then in question B, they decided, all right, no, we want you to try and do a five mean smoothing. And I'll just, I'm going to do it in a different color so you can see. So five mean smoothing for Thursday. So Thursday, I got one day. Now, because it's five, I'm going to go two below it and two above it. So it would be 24.8 plus 26.4 plus 13.9 plus 12.7 plus 14.2. And then if I divided that by five, it would be 18.4. Okay, so if you look at Thursday, um, we could we could still do we still had a bit of data left after it. So I could the last one I could do if I was doing three mean smoothing would be Friday, and the first one I could do would be Wednesday. So really, if you have five mean smoothing, you will lose the the first two and the last two. Does that mean? So we'll write a little note. If you have five mean smoothing, we lose the first two and last two data points. So if you were going to go graph all your smooth values, you'll be starting on for five, you'd start on Wednesday. There'd only be actually three values there, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It'd be a little line on your graph, okay? So that's um, that's uh, what we've got for three and five. So if you had seven mean smoothing, how many data points do you think you're going to lose at the front and at the end if you had seven? Three, we lost one. Five, we lost two. The next odd number is seven. How many do you think you're going to lose? Three? You, you'd lose three and three on each side of it, okay? So that's just, you'll see it in a question. All right, so here's another set of data just to explain what we were doing. So if you had, the, we had a whole year of data and the number of births. In this first column here, they did three mean smoothing. So you can see their first one would have been February. So three mean smoothing was here along here, okay? So you can see they lost the first and the last. And if you look here, I'll just highlight it in um, pink, the three mean smoothing. So you can see how it started on February and then they've highlight, oh, sorry. I think I've gone the wrong line. All right, so you lose the first and last. There you go. If we did five mean, you can see it, the five mean. We start end up being the first one is on March and the last one is on October. And if you look at, if we graph that down below here, we will see that um, five loses the first two and the last two. Okay, so here... Um, so these little comments were what we wrote up above, but I don't know why I've lost the ability to put a space bar in between these comments. So five mean smoothing, you will lose the um, you will lose the first and the sec the first two and the last two. Now, if you have a look at the data, so the red the red data was the original time series. So if you want to write that original time series. And then you look at the yellow and the blue line are the two different smooth values. Okay, so we look at the two different um, smoothing techniques. So you can see, can you see how the blue one is, which is the five mean, it's taken away all a lot of those random fluctuations of the original red. So if the, you were asked like which smoothing technique is better, 
we would pick the five main ones. 